بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد amongst the du'a of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the supplications of him عليه الصلاة والسلام asking for guidance and truthfulness and firmness. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, as it was narrated in a Sahih Hadith, and it's a simple dua that we can all learn. Qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahumma inni as'aluka huda was sadad. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to supplicate to Allah, O oh Allah, I ask of you guidance and truthfulness. In this dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, two important aspects of the religion are emphasized. Constantly, constantly seeking guidance from Allah. Our guidance is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. That we turn to Him we worship him. We seek his, his help and his support. If you seek assistance, then seek it from Allah. So the huda, the guidance, is from Allah Taala, Azza wa Jal. Because we need guidance in order to keep us on the sarat al-mustaqim, the straight path, from going, to keep us from going astray. As so many from our community of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would, would go astray as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. He said, alayhi salatu wasalam, in a sahih hadith, If tarakatil yahuda la ihtu wa sab'in firqa, wa if tarakatil nasara la ihtnatayn wa sab'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi ummah la thalatha wa sab'in firqa. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Jews were breaking the 71 sects, the Christians in the 72 sects, and my ummah in the 73 sects. Asking for huda, for guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and firmness to be upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, having your intention to please Allah, to follow the sabil al mu'mineen, the sabil of the salaf of this ummah. This is something great, it's something alim, and it only comes from the grace and mercy and guidance of Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. How many people are not guided? How many people, women yahdi Allah fuwa muhtad, and whoever Allah guides, then he is guided. وَمَنْ يُدْلِلْ فَلَا هَادِيَ لَهُ And whoever is uh, misguided, then there's no guidance for him. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. And that's what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. أَلْهُمَيْنِ أَسْأَلُكَ هُدَى O Allah, I ask of you guidance. وَالسَّدَادِ And truthfulness. Truthfulness is another part of that, of being truthful with Allah, sincere with Allah, having ikhlas lillah, doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a part of being truthful. And when we sin, and we commit bid'ah, and various types of ma'asi, different ways of, of sinning before our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's as if we're not being truthful with ourselves and we're not doing being truthful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because maybe we pray during the day, but we sin at night. Or we end the night in some obedience to Allah, but we wake up in disobedience to Allah. Whatever the situation is, that's showing a lack of sincerity. So asking Allah for guidance, asking Him for sincerity, or asking Him for, for truthfulness and, and sincerity and firmness upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is the way of guidance for the mu'mineen. This is the sabil of mu'mineen. And we ask Allah the Almighty, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allahumma inni as'aluku huda wa sadad wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.